Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? <laughs> this is Lockout Men. What's going on, everybody? Yo, you guys like the new banner? I like it. It was, I don't know, it was just something quick that I put together. You know what I'm saying? Well, we don't have that much to talk about today, man. I mean, it is what it is, what's going on in the world today. Talk about it so damn much, it gives you gives you a headache, right? But let's get into uh, what we're going to get into today, all right? Let's do it. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Lockout Man right here. And welcome to another episode of Lockout Man Podcast. Thank you very much for joining me today. And um, I hope your Easter has been um, been a good Easter. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm Me, personally, I'm stuck in the truck. You know what I'm saying? Doing my social distancing thing. You know what I'm saying? I only went in, went in there, showered up, and uh, came back out. But you know what? Let me, let me tell you guys something about my showering habits now. Now, before, I used to go in there, hop in the shower, shower up and everything, and, you know, do the damn thing. But now, after all this stuff that's going on right now, I don't know about you, but I shower standing up. You know, we used to, you know, sink and all that good stuff. Well, I, we all shower standing up, but what I mean is, is that I don't know. I'm, I'm afraid to like use the shower shower. You know what I'm saying? So, I am going to go ahead and get some, um, get me a little bag of, uh, of Lysol wipes when they come in, because it's like when they come in, they go right out. They come in, they go right out. I, what I started doing, I, I started calling the Walmarts like, yo, um, you guys have any uh, Lysol disinfected spray or Lysol wipes? And they all tell me the same thing. They all say the same thing. No, we're out of them. We, we can't. Once we get them in, they go right out. Get them in, go right out. Get them in, go right out. So what I suggest you guys do and, and what I'm going to suggest myself to do is Go to these mom and pop stores. Now, they they probably might put a little bit extra on the price, but you probably might be better off finding them there than you would a Walmart or, you know, your your favorite major stores like Target and stuff like that. But, um... But definitely when I get that, you know, definitely going to spray the stuff down, you know, because I, even though, even though loves say they do like deep cleaning in, in the, in the, um, in the, in the shower area, I really don't think they do. I mean, even though this, this pandemic is, is putting a, a, a little bit much, a, a little bit more thought in when you go in taking a shower after a person and after the 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 cleanup people go in there and clean it up. Do you think they do a really good cleaning in there? I mean, to be honest with you, I I really think they don't. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is, you know. So definitely, if if you don't already have it already, definitely get some, you know, some disinfected wipes, some Lysol disinfected. You you did not know, you 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 did not know how important this stuff really is. Now, even though they be advertising it, you never knew how important sanitizer, disinfected wipes, disinfected is important in these times right now crazy right it is just super duper crazy well check this out look 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 look. now back in the day back in the day five years ago actually five years ago at least at least that's what this says right here five years ago a black president said that we should be prepared 
for epidemic of proportions, epic proportions. He said that five years ago, right? Think about it. This, listen, I, I'll, I'll play it. Just listen, listen. Coming. Really? Well, here's a warning from President Barack Obama back in 2014. There may and likely will come a time in which we have both an airborne disease that is deadly. And in order for us to deal with that effectively, we have to put in place an infrastructure not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly. So that if and when a new strain of flu, like the Spanish flu, crops up five years from now or a decade from now, we've made the investment. And we're further along to be able to catch it. And guess what? The former president was not politicizing the possibility of a pandemic on the horizon. He was sending a message to Congress at the time that a deadly pandemic is not a partisan issue. Now, I'm not a political type of person and all like that, and I don't do politics well, but I don't know. This man, <laughs> a lot of you guys didn't like Barack Obama. I mean, you know, he was the first nation's black president. And a lot of you felt that he was a good president, and a lot of you felt that he wasn't a good president. This is like how you guys feel about the current president. But, dude, I mean, think about what he just said. He said back then that we should have been ready for something of this magnitude. At least they would have made the investment in the, in, in the fighting this pandemic. Think about it. Think about what he just said. And likely will come a time in which we have both an airborne disease that is deadly. And in order for us to deal with that effectively, we have to put in place an infrastructure, not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly. So that if and when a new strain of flu, like the Spanish flu, crops up five years from now or a decade from now, we've made the investment. I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, a lot of stuff that's coming full circle now. <laughs> a lot of stuff that's coming full circle. You know, it's it's crazy. Maybe they should have listened. I mean, a lot of you guys over here talking about that the, the government don't do or don't tell us everything we need to know. Right. How about this right here? Let, let me let me go back for a minute. Let me let me go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Now, remember, remember back in January, we all mourned the loss of Kobe Bryant. We all mourned him. You know, when he, when, when he got in that faithful, you know, he got in that helicopter that faithful day, him and, you know, others that crashed and perished that day. We all mourned the loss of Kobe Bryant. And back then, we were still coming together. We didn't even think that this pandemic was, was looming. But it was. It was. In the same paper, this was in USA Today. Now, I can, I can barely make out what it says, but... It says right here next to the article where it says Kobe Bryant amongst nine people killed. Rush is on to develop a vaccine for the virus. 
I kid you not. This is this 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 is it right here. Right here. Public health session. Uh the public health session. Right here. Drug makers are hustling to make a vaccine to cortex the rapidly spreading respiratory virus that has stricken at least 1,975 people in China and five and five in the United States. Now, at that time, it was only five. It was only five in the United States. The National Institute of Health has pardoned with the Boston area company. And I can't read no more from there, but down at the bottom to develop a vaccine that will confess or company the comp develop a vaccine. I'm sorry. The company already already is developing a vaccine for Middle East respiratory symptoms syndromes or M E R S another type of the virus. Yep. I mean, think about it. This and this was back in January. Wow. <laughs> All I can say is wow that this 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 is going on and now the world not only grieving Kobe Bryant, but grieving a whole lot of losses after this pandemic just just came like a cannonball. Wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Stay your distance. That's all I can say. You know, I'm, I'm staying mine. I'm, I've been in the truck. I've been in the truck all weekend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I won't be able to get back out on the road until, uh, until Monday. But, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm keeping my distance. It's a deadly, deadly, deadly disease or virus. And, and you just don't know how it's going to come, who has it what it is and they got people doing crazy stuff crazy stuff you you guys know about that doctor that 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 doctor that went crazy and 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 strangled strangled one of them kids on the beach because they wasn't they wasn't practicing social distancing i mean <laughs> look i'm the type of person look just I, i'll stay away you know Unfortunately, I can't stay in the house because I got to work. I got to be out here. I'm a truck driver. And the Lord, you know, I'm, I'm a blessed truck driver at that. You know what I'm saying? I put all my faith in the Lord. I, you know, I never thought I'd, <laughs> I never thought I would be the one to say that, that I would put all my faith in the Lord. But yeah, <laughs> seriously, I put all my faith in the Lord. You know, I am a, I am a blessed truck driver out here. So, but uh, it's crazy that we, you know, we, we, when you look at it this way, everybody's saying that we're the unsung heroes and everything because we're we're out doing the jobs that that uh that's that's bringing the people what they need to survive but what about the other unsung heroes that's 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 coming out to to make sure that us truck drivers is all right the truck stops you know even though even though they 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 shut down the the area, the driver's lounge, the, the, the area where we eat and all like that, they shut all that down, but they, but they are still here to make sure that we are fed and we, have, and we actually have somewhere to shower, to wash up, to freshen up, to make sure that we still look good, smell good, feel good. What about them? 
you know? What about them? I mean, they, they sacrifice him, right? Everybody knows, every, everybody knows that the doctors, the nurses, and the hospitals are the heroes, you know? And everybody over here talking about this, this hazard pay. What, what about for the doctors? What about for the nurses? What about for, what about for the, for the, for the uh, part-time workers? What about for them? What about their hazard pay? Do they need hazard pay? They can use it. A lot of people was hit when this, when this disease came full force. I mean, it just damn near shut down everything. Not only that it shut down everything, it put everything in a new normal. Everything's not going to go back to normal. It's a new normal. Now that I go up into these truck stops, I see these uh, sneeze, uh, sneeze shields or the cough shields. It's in, it's in Love's. They got it up all over Love's. They got it up all over the Pilot's. You go up there and it's 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 a shield now. Nah, you 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 they don't want that you cough, you you cough on that. You sneeze, you sneeze on that. And look, for the people that's that's out here, be careful who you're around. Because the new normal is you're gonna look at that person that's gonna that that's sneezing or coughing. You're going to look at that person in a different light. Uh, do you? Do, 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 come on, man. You know, you're not going to. You, it's all about respect. And I'm hoping that a lot of guys out here give a lot of respect to these, you know, to to people now. You know what I'm saying? If you if you if you sick, stay home. If you're sick, stay away. You know what I'm saying? It's a new normal, y'all. Hopefully, um, hopefully we can get back to it. We can get back at it, but it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be totally different now. It's gonna be totally different. But I guarantee you that I, I guarantee you one thing. One thing I can guarantee you. That's going to happen. And that's going to be, it's, it's going to, a lot of people is going to come back out. A lot of people going to be happy to come back out. A lot of people is going to be happy to mingle. They're going to be happy to do all this kind of stuff. They're going to be happy to do all this kind of stuff. And, um, but still, you, you still got to, you still got to watch yourself. That's it, y'all. That's it. It's just something quick. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys have a happy Easter. I hope you have a blessed one. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you guys stay safe out there. Wash your hands and everything. And whoever, whoever, whoever you serve or you pray to, make sure you pray to them. It could be whoever you want, Allah, Jesus, me, God, and Jesus is who I pray to every night, every night, every day. I mean, like I said before, you know, it's, I, I'm not going to get, I'm, I'm not going to get spiritual on you guys tonight. Uh, I just want to come on and let you guys know that I am here and all like that. I hope you guys like content like this and more. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am Lockout Man. Be on the watch out for all Lockout Man podcasts. I got a couple of more interviews that's coming up. I'm scheduling it. I'm scheduling a couple of more interviews. I got a... I got a few people that's uh that's on deck that's uh that's coming up in the in uh future episodes of the podcast. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe. If you like to come on and chop it up with me, yo, leave leave me a message in the uh DM over at Instagram or leave me a message in my uh in my Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. 
I wonder what this guy doing. Not the slightest idea what this guy is doing. Okay. Anyway, um, you guys stay blessed, and I will come back at you guys with another video. And with that said, we are gone.